So again, hey guys, Matt Quinn here from LearnTheGoKio.com. Today I'm here with my friend Liam, and we're going to, we're going to be going over um, uh, why you do stuff on the sleeve side, okay? Because in my club, all the time, I've got I teach judo and Brazilian jiu jitsu. So each throw has your opponent will give you you give different reactions. For example, basic level jiu jitsu and judo. If I do this to a judo guy, he will defend it, all right, by probably moving out of the way or maybe doing whatever. If I do this to a jiu-jitsu guy, he's gonna grab my leg and throw me over there somewhere with screwing Nagi. There's different reactions to different sports, and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with all that stuff. Don't get into a rules argument. But it also means that when I'm doing throws like uh, Diashi Barai, for example, if I do it on the sleeve side, which is the traditional side, I can actually throw Liam because, or I might not throw him, but I've got good sleeve control, head control, and that sort of stuff. But if I do it on the other side, a few things, he can grab my leg, and now run me down and throw me. So you can throw me down there. As I come in for Diashi, he grabs my leg, runs me down, and throws me with Kachiki Daoshi. And so, I'm like, yeah, that sucks. So let me do one on the sleeve side. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> whichever side. If you have a sleeve side, I can't defend it. I can't grab his leg, I can't defend it. Now, if he goes lapel slide, now he's in big trouble. Jiu Jitsu guys will do this, Judo guys won't. RJF Judo guys. In addition, he might do a Diashi on this side, and I can, I can't wheel out of it, and he doesn't get a score. But on the sleeve side, I can't cut wheel out of it. So all this stuff's really important. Uh, when, and also, secondly, it's important because when you're teaching kids, competition judo uh, is different to traditional judo in a sense, in that a lot of people do his Guruma and Sasa off this side, but you don't want kids landing with outstretched arms. You want them being doing it safely on sleeve side. So uh, it's important, you do stuff sleeve side, you won't get counter-attacked, your partner can't grab your legs, they can't cartwheel out of throws, and they're safer. So it's just really important when you're doing stuff, when you're doing judo, especially with kids, sleeve side, the traditional side all the time. The traditional is more safe. Competition variations where he does sassai on this side, go this side, when I can't grab and stick out, it's all, it's all dangerous for kids. Even a left ogoshi, left ogoshi, is dangerous for kids because this harm's free. But a right ogoshi, it's nice and safe. So this is something to think about while you're doing judo. It's more of just a general interest video than my, usually my other ones. But if you want to learn more about the Gokyo and that sort of stuff, head to learnthegokyo.com. I'll talk to you later on.